Hi everyone, welcome to the Game Night Film Study Week 8 Edition. I'm Rance Berger alongside Kai Raymer. It's as good as it gets in Lake of the Ozarks High School Football. It's Week 8, that means districts are on the line and playoff hopes hang in the balance. Yeah, we got local bragging rights on the line this week with Eldon and Versailles, uh, the district opener for both teams. Versailles comes off a disappointing loss last week at Clinton. The Tigers couldn't run, they couldn't stop the run, and they lost a turnover battle. They won't stand much of a chance against Eldon if they can't stop the running Mustangs. Eldon enters the game after a loss to Blair Oaks on the road last week. The Mustangs had a two-possession two lead on the Falcons, but couldn't stop Blair Oaks' passing attack in the second half. The Falcons came back and won 46-29 in homecoming. Eldon has allowed an average of 35 points per game in its last three contests against Tri-County Conference opponents. The Versailles defense gets an average of just over two turnovers per game. Their leading tackler is Kyler Turpin, and they could be without second leading tackler, the sophomore Dodge Anderson, who is a bit of an ankle. Elsewhere in the Tri-County Conference, we already have a conference champion this year, and it is the Osage Indians. Osage won big at Warsaw last week, 63-6, and enters its district opener this week at St. James. The Indians are finally healthy and have their full roster available, as they got back Cody Mayer last week against Warsaw. The senior rushed for three touchdowns. Osage's first two district games are on the road at St. James this week and next week against an Owensville team that knocked the Indians out of the state playoffs last year. This week, look for the Indians' defense to spend plenty of, send plenty of heat against St. James quarterback Jake Harlan, who is the coach's son and does it all for the Tigers when it comes to running and passing the football. In other district action, the Camdenton Lakers approach their playoff quest 2-5 and five following a second-half collapse last week in a loss to Joplin. They'll have the task of stopping a very balanced Smith Cotton Tigers team in Sedalia. The Laker coaching staff has challenged senior defensive players like Michael Saltz, Kota Jarecki, Austin Martin, and Jake Eichard to step up their collective game. The Lakers need to find ways to keep their momentum and energy going through the second half of games in order to get their first road victory of the season in Sedalia. That's going to do it for another edition of Lake Media's Game Night Film Study. We appreciate you joining along with us at lakenewsonline.com. The action is about to get really intense. District time. See you at the stadiums and enjoy the games.